everyone. Today we are going to kick off our electrical system. Huzzah! We are going to have power. <laughs> so all the blue pieces of tape are our DC power and the green pieces of tape are our AC power runs and it just gives us a visual so when we're pulling out the wires we know which one. We want to talk about wire and we want to talk about a few different things. First off, go to Explorers Life. They are spectacular. We bought our entire electrical system through them. Um, they have an online wire calculator that will tell you the fuse size, will tell you the wire size, will tell you a bunch of things. So we're not electricians by any means. So don't follow us verbatim. We have spent months of our lives researching and coming frustrated and pulling out my hair and all of that fun stuff trying to make sure that we don't burn this van down so that being said we are going to be using Encore both for our AC and our DC wire runs we got the flat ones because we I don't know we just got flat ones um, and to simplify everything we simp we bought only two wire sizes right we bought the 12 watt 2 12 gauge and the 2 stands for a positive and negative and that's our DC. And then for our AC, and we bought 100 feet of that, which might not be enough, but we'll see. And then for our AC, we bought 12.3, so positive, negative, and a ground. Also flat, also anchor. We have the, we always get confused. So it's the largest gauge, so 12 gauge, um, even though a lot of our stuff only needs like 16 gauge or 18 gauge, just because we wanted to simplify all of the wire that we're having in our van. Um, this is overkill and it's also more expensive, but we decided to spend the extra like $30 just so we have only two kinds of wire, um, AC and DC running through it at the same size. And we'll throw links of where we bought these on Amazon below so you can buy what we bought, but make sure it works for your system. Don't just buy it because we bought it. We were originally going to go through and measure every single wire run. We've already kind of done that with a generous like over uh guesstimation of what they would be when we try to do our wire gauge um, and wire size with a wire size calculator and because we've already done that to a like extended uh, length we know that we have the proper gauged wire so instead of wasting the time of measuring exactly we're just gonna pull out our wire and start routing things because we know we have the proper wire and it'll just simplify stuff and we can get it done because we're on time crunch the first step of the wiring process was to insert split wire loom tubing into the walls. There are a lot of sharp edges in the walls, and while the wires we are using have a jacket around them that provides additional protection, we don't want to risk the wire within getting exposed over time. So where there are tighter pass-throughs and sharp parts of the framing, we ran the loom tubing. This will help protect the wire that we run through it. We also fed the wire loom tubing on the wall where the wires converge to protect them, as well as a bit of cable management as the wires make their way to the location where the electrical system will live. Then it was time to actually start running wires. Since we already knew where we wanted everything electrical to be, it was fairly quick work at the beginning. In order to keep wire runs as short as possible, anything on the passenger side that is in the front half of the van ran across the ceiling. because that gives us power. We used a hole saw on the top of the bump out boxes to make the hole that our puck lights will sit in. By stacking a piece of scrap wood above the bump out, we were able to cut the hole without fear of popping through and hitting the frame of the van.
Then we fed the wires of the puck light through and snapped them into place. This is going to give us nice reading lights in the bed area. We just ran all the wires for um, all of our DC connection points. We're a little bit short. We need about 30 more feet so that we could do the max air fan. So we will go pick that up later, but we're gonna move on to all of our AC wiring now. How much A? How much DC wire did we use? We This is what's left after a 100 foot roll. It's about six feet um, and we just don't have enough to run to the max air fan. So 150 feet would probably be the better buy? Yeah. What do we like? Cookies. Say it louder. <laughs> cookies. For the people in the back. Are you filming? Yeah. <laughs> we like cookies. We got lights. No one needs to know they're battery operated, but we got them. And they're looking good. We also got a mess. Cookies. Katie's the only one who actually works in this van build. I just sit here and sing songs about cookies. That's true. Okay, can you help me with this? She's running ethernet cables right now so she can land with the boys. That's important, we're a gamer. Game. The wire for any outlet or appliance on the passenger side in the back half of the van is run up and over the back doors in the channel in the frame. Feeding these wires was a little tricky and took the longest time since I couldn't fit my hand into some of the parts of the wall to pull it through. We're basically done for the night. It's a weird process right now. Things just have to be hanging basically until like walls are up and we have a final place for this to be tucked, taped up and all of that. So this is kind of what we're gonna be living with for the next few days until we're at that stage. The doors are in the front, the <laughs> side, and two in the rear. <laughs> I grow my nose hair longer. Do you think I could be a single piece into my mustache? <laughs> 